financially motivated, you don't know what to train, just grab a bar. Load it up not too heavy and here are four exercises you can put together to give yourself a bit of a leg workout without having to think too much um, but still working the body hard enough really so that you feel like you've done something. It's not always about having the hardest workout that you possibly can. Sometimes it's better just to get in the gym and give it a go, whether it's for um, a combo like this one here. So I started off, I'm going to use the same weight on the bar, I'm not wasting time changing the bar at all. I do one-legged stiff-legged deadlifts with the bar and then really carefully putting the bar up over my shoulders and doing a squat. Pushing up through my heels, trying to go as low as I can. Keeping my head up so the bar is safe, it's not going to roll over my neck. And doing a whole set and then taking it down real careful. And then I'm going back to hamstrings with a rolling barbell stiff like a deadlift. These are pretty cool to do with a bar because the bar actually rolls out further than when you do it with a dumbbell. And your hips are more even on this one when you do it with a one leg. Obviously one leg is in the air, so this is totally different to a one-legged one. So we started with a one-legged stiff-legged deadlift, put the squats in, and then we've gone to the rolling barbell stiff-legged deadlift. And then we're going back with the bar across the shoulders and doing a curtsy lunge, which really is just a curtsy to the side making sure that that knee is safe that you're lunging down and not forward if your knee goes over your toe you're doing your lunges wrong and all the pressure will go on your kneecap so make sure you're lunging down and not forward doing 10 on one leg 10 on the other leg taking that bar over very carefully again and that is the set through, that is the combo through the four exercises. So then you're gonna go straight back into that one-legged, stiff-legged deadlift, using that barbell to straight down and up. The leg goes in the air so that you can get the bar down to the ground. You do not want to be bending and not getting that, air, that leg up in the air. So that was for your hamstrings and your glutes. And then you, um, I did actually put a squat in here, but you can go to the stiff-legged deadlift, rolling the bar out as far as you can go without tipping forward. And the goal is to use those hammies when you're standing back up, you should get a really good stretch right up, right up into the glutes. Stand back up again. Be really careful getting that bar over your shoulders. Shoulder width apart with your feet. And remember when you're doing your squats, you're pushing up through those heels. You do not want to roll forward onto your toes. Keeping your head up so that the bar does not roll over your neck. Going down, 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 as low as you can really. And then the fourth one, remember, is the curtsy lunge. Lunge and down, pushing up. Do 10 one side and then 10 on the other, so you really do exhaust the glute and the quad on the one side. So this is just a four exercise combo using the one bar, not having to waste time loading and unloading to different weights and you're getting the hammies and the quads and the glutes. <clears throat> this one is really, really good to do, especially if you want to increase on that flexibility. You don't want to do it up on a step, so you can just roll that bar out in front of you. Don't roll it too far where it does not return. Depending on the order that you put them in will depend on um, how much it hurts. Here you can see it's starting to get a little bit hard in, <clears throat> in my glute. So my arms are starting to cheat and pull the barbell up. 
This was it right at the end of the workout, so I knew that my glutes were, had, had had enough. Because you really don't want to be lifting that bar with your arms. You want to be lifting back up through that hamstring. And you can see I'm cheating here at the end as it got harder and I've got the shakes happening. Still managed though on the last set of squats to get down quite low. Give it a go, it doesn't take much to go through that four, four combo.